Safe and efficient driving in roundabouts, T-junctions and other complex junctions are all about accurate observation and understanding of the road. How we drive is limited by the observations we can make from our point of view, and failure to properly survey the surroundings could lead to a collision or an accident. The same limitations are also faced by automated driving systems. So how do we create a framework to enable automated driving systems to observe the world effectively and provide the information needed to make safe, efficient decisions in real time? With the support of WMG Centre, High Value Manufacturing Catapult, researchers at WMG University of Warwick have been developing a cooperative perception framework as part of the L3 pilot project. L3 Pilot is a large, very, very important flagship EU project. And the project includes over 30 partners. L3 Pilot tests the validity of automated driving function as a means of safe transportation. The project focuses on SAE Level 3 automated driving functions for the passenger cars. Cooperative perception offers a way to incorporate information from spatially diverse sensing nodes distributed in the environment, overcoming the performance limitations of individual sensors, such as sensing range, and mitigating physical limitations like occlusions created by other objects. A sensor suite, including cameras and LiDAR, is installed on the vehicle and infrastructure nodes. This, paired with wireless communication technology, ITSG5, enables sharing of identified object information, including their type and location, between nodes. The modularity of the platform would allow for easy integration of emerging technologies, such as 5G V2X. With cooperative perception, a vehicle can build up a comprehensive understanding of what is happening in the surrounding environment to then make safe, efficient and informed decisions in complex road segments such as T-junctions. In this demonstration, the Ego vehicle has its view impaired by a parked vehicle. This does not allow the Ego vehicle to safely assess its surroundings to merge at the T-junction. Using its drive-by-wire system, the Ego vehicle starts travelling on its planned path without any driver input. To understand its current location, the Ego vehicle uses GNSS against the path it needs to take to reach its destination. The onboard cameras and LiDAR identify nearby objects and create an object list representing the world around the Ego vehicle. At the T-junction, the mobile roadside unit, MRSU, acting as an infrastructure node, also monitors the environment and generates an object list from its perspective. The Ego vehicle's object list is sent to the MRSU via ITSG5 using the Collective Perception Message, CPM. The MRSU combines the two lists and creates a global object list. The newly created global object list is broadcasted and received by the Ego vehicle in a periodic CPM using ITSG5. The Ego vehicle uses the global object list to determine a suitable gap in the desired lane and safely manoeuvre through the T-junction while its view is obscured. The cooperative perception framework is scalable, meaning that other vehicles and infrastructure nodes can combine their perception information about the environment to create a comprehensive understanding around a complex junction. Cooperative perception helps extend the operational design domain of automated driving systems to more challenging driving scenarios for Level 3 autonomy and beyond. This is another step towards highly automated driving systems. Cooperative perception is very important for the future in that I think it is part of the overall solution which will allow us to get to higher levels of autonomy, particularly on-road autonomy. So the ability to use all of this information and all of this data that we collect from different nodes, whether that be vehicles or whether that be infrastructure, to then actually use that information in a useful way to reach those higher levels of autonomy. Cooperative perception will play a key role in enabling safety, comfort and efficiency of automated driving in complex road segments. Some of the possible benefits of corporate autonomy is that we are able to reach those higher levels of autonomy much sooner.
and, and actually realise this on real public roads. So this ability to understand our environment in a much better way, in a more comprehensive way, leading to safer vehicles on real roads.